Hey guys, today I just want to share with you a, a really lovely philosophy around health and this is something that I've been teaching with my clients in one-on-one -on -one and group coaching for quite a while but it's something that I really feel is important and it's, it's the way I view health. Um, and I'm, I'm a holistic nutritionist and I really do view that, that health is not just what we eat or how we move but also it's body mind spirit you know it's what we believe it's what we think it's our connection to um, it's a higher higher intelligence um, it's the way that we um, nourish ourselves not only with food and movement but also nourish ourselves with um, growing and growth as a person and so all these components add up to health but this is something that I want to share with you because I've always used the wheel of life, um, which is different parts of your of your health, and looking at that and and how that creates your your life um, balanced. If you've ever seen the wheel of life, it's sort of like a pie that's split into um, uh, you know eight quadrants, and there's like different components of your life. But recently, I looked at the I was uh, introduced to this. And this is something that I've been teaching, but I think this diagram or this visual of it is really awesome. I actually picked it up in a book called A Guide to Greatness, um, which is by a guy called Sam McCull, who's an Australian guy. And I really love it, so I wanted to share it. And really, it's just basically talking about the importance of health and how health really is the center of um, of our existence and if we don't have good health we don't have the ability or the capabilities to be able to go and be the best version of ourselves in all other areas of life and this is something I've been saying for ages it's like why do you want good health you want good health so that you can show up and give your gifts to the world and so in order for us to show up and give our gifts to the world we have to have vibrant energy we have to be thriving not just surviving and not just making it through the day and if we don't have good health and in those components, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, it really does affect all different areas of life, including our family and friends, our career, our wealth, um, our ability to create wealth and ability to work in our careers or, be, or work on our businesses, um, contribution, what we give back, um, not just from a, from a monetary point of view, but also what we give in time and, and expertise. Um, intimate relationships of course and often that's something that gets pushed aside and then learning and I feel like learning is actually part of the health aspect but I've that I've added that in there as well so in order for us to be able to do that and it also includes things like you know like study um, learning more changing a career you know there's so many of us that have decided to change careers like I did. I went and studied nutrition while still working. So um, in order for me to do that, I, I needed really good energy and I needed to be able to use my brain um, at you know, all hours of the day. So if we want to show up and we want to be the best version of ourselves, we really need to make our health our priority. And sometimes we need to be reminded, and I really felt like this was a really nice way to look at it, a really good visual to remind us that our health is most important um, because we only get one skin suit, we only one get one bag of bones, and um, it's not a dress rehearsal, and we really need to appreciate the body that we're being given in and don't wait for a health crisis before you get the message and I see too many people waiting for this health crisis and too many people learning the hard way like I did and I lost an organ um, before they actually got the message. So if that resonated with you or it really did um, give you an aha, please um, like it, please comment. If you've got any questions or if you've got any other health topics that you would like to be covered, please also comment below because I would really love to know um, what you would like to learn, what do you need to know about what you're confused about. Okay, thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.